happened. He says, Captain Marvel trailer, Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw was a good one. But I can't do any more. I cannot do any more Fast and Furious, okay? If they would have took the Fast and Furious part off of that commercial, maybe I would go see it. I wouldn't go see it if it was on if it was for free. I'm just I'm done. Please. Please stop with that Fast and the Furious. What are we on now? Is this number 10? Is this number 9? Uh Courtney Harden says his favorite was the Captain Marvel. Uh my pop says the Planners uh Cashew commercial was the funniest. That was that was good, but it was over the top. I mean, it was really and I'm going to say really again, it was really over the top. But, you know, if you're a fan of your of your planner's peanuts, I'm all, I'm all for it. Also, we have comeback player of the year, Andrew Luck. He was second in the league in touchdowns to pa- Patrick Mahomes. Assistant coach of the year, Vic Fangino or Fangio, he has accepted a job. I believe he's the new coach of the Broncos. Somebody tell me if I'm wrong, but I believe he is the uh, new coach of the Broncos. So Vic Fangio doing his thing. Uh, Clutch says, nah, Ben, it's a spinoff. It's a whole separate movie from the Fast and Furious movies. You got to see it. I get it. I understand, but it said Fast and the Furious at the top of it, and then my eyes just went black. You know, you know when you when you're watching something or when you're not really paying attention and you just kind of look away. I started to look away, but I, I may I may go see it for free. The clutch performance play of the year, the Miami Miracle, obviously the big play, the last second play that the Dolphins had. Against the Patriots. They always get up for that game. They always get up for that game. Coach of the year, Matt Nagy. With the Chicago Bears. Um, And MVP of the league. Are we surprised? Are we surprised? We should not be surprised. Patrick Mahomes. I predicted it. A lot of people were predicting it. Big ups to Patrick Mahomes. He did his thing this year. He truly did his thing this year. Also, they had the Walter Payton Man of the Year went to Chris Long of the Philadelphia Eagles. Shout out to Chris Long. Making an impact in his community, making an impact uh, around the country. So thank you to Chris Long for what he has done. So Patrick Mahomes becomes... The youngest player to win the MVP in the Super Bowl era. He got 41 out of 50 votes. 41 out of 50 votes. Drew Brees earned the other nine. So Drew Brees was a distant second. He wasn't close. He he wasn't like a couple points behind. Drew Brees was a distant second. So really... Really amazing job by Patrick Mahomes this year. Amazing. Also, let's get into the Hall of Fame. Nominees have been announced. And thank you, Mocha Bella, for putting that in. She said, my Benny Award goes to Ed Reed Hall of Fame from the U. Chris Long is super cool. Says Super Bowl champion, a.k.a. Grego. Benny Award goes to Edelman and the entire NFL Hall of Fame class. So let's go down the list of who made it into the Hall of Fame. Number one, Ed Reed. Ed Reed definitely is a first ballot. If you, when you think about safeties, you think about at Steve Atwater, at least for me, you think about Steve Atwater, you think about Ed Reed, you think about John Lynch. Those are guys to me that you think about that that come to mind first when it comes to safety. Ed Reed definitely deserves to be in there. Tony Gonzalez, 
Another one of those guys you think about when you think about tight ends. Champ Bailey. Another a top corner for years in the league. A top corner for years. Uh, they're inducted in uh, in their first year of eligibility. All of them, I definitely 100% agree that they should be in that first year. Ty Law gets in. I didn't know Ty Law was, was a first ballot. Uh, not, I'm, excuse me, not a first ballot. But I didn't know Ty Law was going to get in at all. So I was a little bit uh, surprised by that one. Kevin Mawai, who was a top offensive lineman. Uh, Pat Bolin, Gil Brandt, and Johnny Robinson rounds out the people going into the Hall of Fame. Gil Brandt as a contributor, uh, Pat Bolin as a contributor. So that rounds out the class. Uh, don't forget Ronnie Lott and my guy Brian Dawkins. You're right, 100% right. You're 100% right. Those are definitely names that you think about when you think about safety, for sure. And actually, the Avi with Grego, or AKA Super Bowl champion, is him and Chris Long. He's also got his his older Avi was him and Tyreek Hill. Grego was all over the place. Grego's name will be known around all of the people that he met. They will remember Grego. And the next time Grego throws a party or something, don't be surprised if Chris Long's there or Tyreek Hill is there or one of those guys he met is there. So, like I said, Grego doing his thing. On to the Super Bowl. Let, let, let's get into it. Like I said, one of the lowest or the lowest scoring Super Bowl of all time. Uh, when you start off the game, uh, it was scoreless in the, in the first half, in the first quarter, excuse me. Also, when you look at the return that uh, Cordell Patterson had, that gave them some momentum, but they still weren't able to score on that, on that first drive. Uh, Twitter was blowing up. Uh, NFL fans was blowing up. They were not impressed after the second lowest scoring first half in Super Bowl history. Now, like I mentioned, um, Aaron Donald was able to get to Brady. Uh, that one opportunity he was able to get to him, and he threw him down to the ground, and he just gave him that look like we're about to be after you all day. Well, guess what? They weren't after him all day. Maybe they were trying, but they could not. After that, they pretty, and uh, you know, a couple other plays, they really could not get to Brady. Uh, they only gave up, they as in the Patriots, only gave up one sack. That one sack was made by a guy named John Franklin Myers of the Rams. Uh, they had four quarterback hits, one of them by Donald, one of them by Akeem Tlaib, one by Sue, and then the one sack by Franklin Myers. So they really were not able to get that pressure that they needed. They needed to have pressure. They had to. That is the MO. That is how you get them flustered. That's how you win a Super Bowl against the Patriots. Also in the first half, a lot of jokes being prompted. About Ty Gurley, where is he? They had one of them with him on a milk carton. They had another one with him, um, with the with the Spider Man, with the two Spider Mans looking at each other, pointing at each other. It it, it was it, it was just not a good game for him. It was not a good playoffs for him. And to me, that is a that is a definition. Uh, of somebody being hurt, somebody on the bike often, somebody not in the game often. And, and I like C.J. Anderson, but C.J. Anderson is not better than Todd Gurley. It, it's it's a fact. He is not better than Todd Gurley. So to see C.J. Anderson on the field so much, that to me is saying that he's injured. Now, 
I do believe we will hear a comment coming out sometime soon, basically saying that he was injured. Um, he says he wasn't injured. The team is saying that he wasn't injured. And if I'm completely wrong, I will admit that live on the air. But just what it looks like, uh, he had one he had one good run where he busted it up the middle, but he did not have, and not even not just this game. He didn't have a good playoffs, period. And I just do not believe that you could just say, well, Ty Gurley just got shut down. I don't, I don't believe that. He had 10 carries for 35 yards. CJ Anderson's at seven for 22. That's not enough. That is not enough for you to win a Super Bowl. It's not enough. Uh, Courtney gave, give me both of them. Oh, uh, Courtney says, who do you blame for the Rams losing? McVay or Golf? It is both. And McVay came out and said it. He got out coached. He got out coached. I mean, he was put on this pedestal. A lot of people, I mentioned it, that he's the new genius. He's the new young genius in the game. He admitted it. He he just got out coached. He got out coached by the mastermind. Belichick is a mastermind. After the game, they interview Robert Kraft. And what he says is, Some of you guys may or may not have watched this, but he said that they spent 18 hours a day, not a week, not a couple hours here or there, 18 hours a day, which I believe it. To be as successful at this level, to be as successful at this level constantly year after year after year, they take advantage of every single opportunity. They see they see a time and place where you're slacking. And big ups to to Brian Flores, too. The defensive packages that they were running, golf looked so confused all game. They didn't know where the blitz was coming from. Tony Romo didn't know where the blitz was coming from. They didn't know if it was a blitz, if it was man, if it was zone. They didn't. They had no clue what was going on. So that is the Patriots organization as a whole. I'm not I'm not going to I'm not going to go with this. uh, They cheated. I'm not I'm not about to do that. Uh, shout out to Holly Newsom. That's why the title of this show is You Cannot Spell Dynasty Without the Patriots. At this point in time, we cannot say they cheated this one too. They didn't cheat this one. They didn't cheat the last one. They didn't cheat that that 28-3 comeback they had to do. So, come on. Come on. Don't, don't, pull, the, don't pull the cheating thing out of the bag. You can't pull the cheating thing out of the bag this time. In a low-scoring game against a dominant defense, and they shut down the defense. One sack is not enough. Period. One sack is not enough. Uh, my dad has a comment in here. He said, "Son, criticizing Fast and the Furious movie sequels is disrespectful. <laughs> Two greatest special effects movies in classic monster cars history. Now, Fast and the Furious, you know, maybe." A couple of them, but now we're at we're at number ten now. But you know, for you though, for you, Dad, I will watch it with you because you're my dad, and I'll do that. But I'm not watching it with anybody else. <laughs> uh, Cordy Arden says, "Yes, yeah, something is going on with Gurley." Uh, other comments here: Cordy Arden, MVP, known user of banned substance, but Barry Bonds isn't in the Hall of Fame. Theme is you can't beat. Theme is you can't beat against Brady and Belichick, says Courtney Harden. They are masterminds at this game. Okay, we we have to accept it at this point in time. We cannot continue to say that they've cheated. I believe that they have cheated. I believe that. But these past three, you can't pull the cheating thing out of the bag. I'm sorry. Now, there was a report that there was somebody videotaping on the sidelines before the game started. I don't know if that was true. I don't know if that happened or not. I don't know if that person was a part of the Patriots. Um, But they won. Uh, And they did not do it convincingly. This was not one of those wins where it was a blowout. Said Galloway says, now Grego... 
you have a favorite days, favorite days, March 